if a kindly phrase goes with a friendly smile when you're on your way they shorten every mile in life's journey you should get it in your bones it's the little things they're stepping stones in the fairy tale oh, remember mr hare but the tortoise one so learn a lesson there just keep on the move don't be a lazy bones it's the little things they're stepping stones we all in our daydreams build a castle or two distant though they may seem fortune may smile on you say what a lovely world if folks would only try do to others as you'd wish to be done by always wear a smile it's better far than moans it's the little things they're stepping stones Hello folks, I'm the Talking Sheepdog. It's amazing what they can do in films today. I want to tell you about some of the stepping stones in my life. That dog is my brother Joe and that's old Fred the Shepherd. I was born and bred up here in the rugged Cumberland Hills. It's a grand life, and a useful one too. A shepherd and his dog tending one large flock help to feed and clothe thousands of people. You can see for miles around on a clear day. He's telling Joe to round the sheep up. And off Joe goes, picks up the scent. Yes, he's got it. Now to find them, which shouldn't be very difficult. Where are they? Ah, down there. Down in the valley. There's some speed for you. <laughs> You'd think the income tax people were after him. There's nothing like fresh air and exercise to keep you fit. There they are, the little bar lambs. A wave of the hand tells Joe which way to drive the sheep. As you can see, without his dog, the shepherd would be almost helpless. He could never manage a flock of sheep on his own. After rounding up the stragglers, the dog has to be on the run and keep the flock together and moving in the right direction. There they go, heading for the last roundup, perhaps. I'm a country dog, but I've been up to town. The things those town dogs get up to. Well, look at this exhibition. Hold your head up, you great nincompoop. To think the Scots came over the border for this. Well, tickle my teeth with a tin tack. Look at this. Ha! <laughs> Talk about my darling. I really don't know why he puts up with it. Oi, you. Oi, I say. Yes, you. I wonder you put up with all that flapdoodle chum. Oh, come on, I do. Why, get the union to take it up. The National Union for the Preservation of the Natural Rights and Activities of Dogs. It's going strong, too. They've just got the council of a large town to plant trees down the main streets. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. The ones I can't stand are those poo dogs. You know, poodles. I like the ankle socks. Hello, Desdemona. By modern standards, they seem all behind, if you see what I mean. Crikey, they've got them with knobs on. It's enough to make a cat laugh. Ah, standing on your dignity, eh? Or rather, sitting on it. Hello. You dirty dog. <laughs> There's a surprise, a talking cow. My master has trained me to round up the sheep alone. He simply tells me how many to fetch, and away I go. It's no easy task, as you have to keep circling the sheep to get them nicely bunched together. Then you wait an opportunity 
to separate off the number you want, like this. When that's done, then you have to put your foot down and show them who's master. Ah, bat me no bats, you old butter. When you've got them separated and on the run, it's a lot easier. They follow each other like a lot of silly sheep. But there are quite a lot of difficulties ahead. Crossing rivers is a great trial, especially when they get stuck in the middle like this. Go on, get a move on. That mother is certainly fond of her precious lamb. Look at that, stopping again. Oh dear, mother and child doing fine. Now what's up? Come on. Up's a daisy. I don't want to stand in this blinking river all day. I'm a dog, not a frog. That's it. Off we go. I've got them under control now. The three and a half big stiffs. Well, folks, that's how I became a champion sheepdog. I've since joined a big sheep farm where I'm what you might call the farmer's right-hand man or dog. This is my latest stepping stone, but, <laughs> well, you never know what's in store, do you? If a kindly friend goes with a friendly smile, when you're on your way, they shorten every mile. In life's journey, you should get it in your bones. It's the little things, they're stepping stones. In the fairy tale, I remember Mr. Hare, but the tortoise won, so learn a lesson there. Just keep on the move, don't be a lazy bone. It's the little things, they're stepping stones. We all in our daydreams build a castle or two. Distant though they may seem, fortune may smile on you. Say, what a lovely world if folks would only try. Do to others as you'd wish to be done by. Always wear a smile, it's better far than moans. It's the little things, they're stepping stones. That's the end of the tale. Goodbye. Keep your tails up.